match day 34 and we took three points from the capital from our visit to White Hart Lane. Pause and peruse the other results at your leisure. So we're getting to the goal of the game. Oscar Rodriguez under pressure from the Spurs defenders. Puts it back to Gigovic. Lays it to Kakul, to Gonzalez. Gonzalez turns. Delivers the ball in the box for a great header from Esposito. It's not Esposito. It's a great header from Aguila. That other striker that's a right back. <laughs> Aguilar, what's he doing there? What a header that is. Get in. Six yard box. Stood up by Gonzalez for the near post. Aguilar attacked the space. What a header that is. Aguilar, you striker. So there you go, my right back. With an absolute great header in the near post. Attacking that space from Gonzalez delivery. And we take three points back to West Yorkshire with us. For our title cause. It's tight at the top. But that helps a lot. Spurs there. Six shots. Six on target. And the most possession as well. With 57%. So they gave us a game. But we got the goal. And that's what counts. Esposito fully recovered from an injury. Match day 35. Saw us with another 1-0 victory. This time at Elland Road against Southampton. As always, pause and peruse for the other results at your leisure. And then we shall get to the goal of the game that took the three points for us. Charisma intercepting at the back to wrench to Zuriko Davitashvili. What a ball this is. What a ball that is. To Della Vega. And to the back of the net to 1 0 Leeds United. Come on. Lovely sweeping ball across. You know I love them type of uh, deliveries. Them type of through balls, lofted through ball, sweeping across. They're a nightmare for defenders. An absolute nightmare. What a peach of a pass. Sweeping it across. Della Vega on it. Back of the net, 1 0. And then the referee called time on that. And as you saw from the results, that was the only goal of the game. So two back-to-back, 1-0 -back, victories for us. And I'll take that all week long. And we deserve that one. You can see from the possession and the shot count, we absolutely deserve this victory. So it is tight at the top. Team from to the side of Illa pushing us all the way. Goal difference separates us. And at the bottom, Villa, Brighton and Newcastle in those danger zone spots. So then we get a little press conference about a do or die decider. With so few remaining matches, what's going to be Leeds United's approach as you enter the final stage of the season? Well, what can you say about the boring one? It's about the game in front of you, isn't it? It's always about the game in front of you. You've always got to be aware of what's going on at the moment, who your opponents are and focus on that game. The rest will just fall into place. Whatever will be, will be. And we lost in our do or die decider. Match day 36, we were beaten 2 1 at Swansea. Yep, it didn't go well. Swansea won a free kick, and I did not think this was a free kick. I just didn't. I mean, see what you think, but there's the ball. Sotalo comes across and the ball is there to be won and uh, he's given uh, a free kick for basically contact on his back leg and you see the you know the back leg but 
there was no foul. There was no foul. I didn't believe there was a foul. They take the free kick quickly and Swansea score, so Medic Maniac on the touchline was apoplectic and the swear box was full already. Through and Andy Yard's legs as he came out to meet the striker. And he just slipped the ball underneath him. You'll see it here. Just slipped the ball between his legs underneath him. Into the net he goes. From a free kick that the referee gave him. That I didn't think was a free kick. But what can you do? Yeah. And then they, they, you can see that what they were going to do there. You can see the patterns. And he lashes it into the net. Past Andy. Oh, what a finish that is. Just absolutely smashed it. Andy R really should be doing better. And then you don't like to see it there when he's throwing up the ticker tape. You don't like to see it. You could see what he was going to do. Just play it simple. You know, make the run. Play him in. And then he's in behind. And then he's got the task of beating the keeper and he does that with absolute certainty, doesn't he? He's not going to miss that. So we are 2-0 down. And then we get to 90 minutes plus one, so you know we've lost. Look at that for a pass. And Esposito is on it and Esposito finishes it off. And that is our consolation in stoppage time. Well, there's no more time to do it, is there? As long as they come away with the three points there. What a pass that is though, what a ball. Too little, too late. Kasunu with a great pass. Lovely weight on it as well. Esposito doesn't have to break stride right into his path. Takes one touch and puts it into the net but we've always lost this game and from kick off the referee blows his whistle. And we trudge off the pitch. We've blown it. It's tight at the top and we, we haven't done ourselves any favours with that performance. Whatever I think of the referee's decision on the free kick that I don't think it was that led to their first goal. You can see from the shot count and the possession we really had a go. But Swansea stood firm. And with those two goals, their goalkeeper man of the match look. You know, we had to go. We tried. But. And then we, we went back to Elland Road against Manchester City, who were also up there. They were just behind Manchester United in the table, and we lost 4 3. In a game that we were 3 1 up. Anyway, you'll see the goals. You'll see all that. Manchester City playing the ball out from the back trying to win it in midfield and we don't they hang on to it back it goes again then it goes forward Carlinho to Zinchenko into the area and Ferran Torres finishes that off and it's 1-0 Manchester City 14 minutes on the clock Minchenko with the ball in, Ferran Torres with the finish. Gets up above Kekul there and puts it into the corner past the despairing keeper. I think that's unsane in goal. It is. Manchester City one up. Chip the ball forward, looking for a Spodito, defended by Manchester City. David Tashpoli steals in there, wins the ball. Gets the ball to Esposito, takes it on the chest, brings it down and puts it in the net for 1-1. One, one. And at this point I was really looking to, uh, you know, have a go at Manchester City and take this game by the by the throat, you know. Having lost to uh, Swansea 2-1. I was very pumped to try and win this game. Very, very important game. Esposito did well to bring that down to his feet there. Nice control, nice touch. And puts it past the keeper for 1-1. One, one. 
And then Manchester City robbed Dilly Dally in in defence. Alshish to Esposito. Simple goal. Him. Easiest goal he's going to score, isn't it? Alshish puts it on the plate. Keeper committed at the feet of Alshish. Open goal. Left foot. Passed it into the net. Simple as you like. 2-1 Leeds United. Nice, nice work from Alshish to draw the keeper. And then just had to square it, and he did that. Wrench wins the ball. Wrench, ball forward. Esposito's touch takes him away from the defenders. Chips the keeper. It's 3-1 Leeds United in the second half on 53, nearly 54 minutes. Patrick for Esposito. When you need your big players in your big games, and they deliver... You know, that's all you can ask, isn't it? And Esposito's delivered today. That's his hat-trick. Wrench with really good work to win the ball. Simple pass forward. Esposito takes it away from the defenders. Keeper comes. No man's land. Chippage. 3-1. Gets in. And then De La Vega tries to sprint around De Bruyne and can't. De La Vega 90-odd acceleration and speed. Can't do it. And then Manchester City profit. Square the ball and it's in the back of the net. And it's Phil Foden. And it's 3-2. I just tried to accelerate away with De La Vega and just couldn't. De Bruyne took the ball and from then on Foden played in. And he's central in the area. And my defenders are the wrong side of him. Then he finishes that off one on one. And then we win the ball, but we don't because the referee gives them a free kick, which they take quickly. And you can see where they're going with this. You can see the two blue shirts. And he doesn't need his teammate. He takes one touch and left foot puts it past on Sane. And it's 3 all. 63, 62 minutes, sorry. We were 3 1 up, it's 3 all. You can see how we've thrown it away, can't you? Did we throw it away or did Manchester City win it? I think it's a bit of both, I think. Manchester City are a strong side. You know, you've got to give them credit. But when you're 3-1 up at home and you're in the position that you are in the league, you've got to be looking at seeing this one out. When you three one up, Almendra can't get the pass away. Manchester City close him down. It ricochets. They take control. It plays him into the area, and Ferran Torres picks up on the rebound off Unsane and puts it into the net. And that is four three. And that is how Manchester City won this game, having been three one down. Medic maniac was apoplectic. Chunter in a bucket full on the sidelines. I bet he really tore into his team after they threw it away second half. A combination of Manchester City wanting it and us not seeing it out professionally. And there it is. Defeat at Swansea. Defeat at Elland Road against Manchester City. And our title has been blown. We've blown it. It was tight at the top when we blew it. And Manchester City, by the looks on their players, they missed out as well. There's all the player ratings. Here's a look at the table. I'll see you for the next one. Take care.